Hey guys, so I probably opened several thousands of packs from these sets on camera on YouTube and I just wanted to show you the four sets that I'm highly collecting. Number one, I think booster packs are really cheap. At least they are cheap for me, which is why I buy them. I like blister packs. You know, it feels like every pack is alive. It makes for a more exciting open for me. And I'm just going to go over the sets that I like and why I'm going to open some more because I enjoy it. It's fun opening your own packs. It's fun. Op you know, I, I never had fun opening other people's packs, which made box breaking kind of difficult, right? But I'm going to go over uh, the kind of hits that you can expect to hit. So these are the land. These are the... I forget where they came from, but essentially... They come in the battlefield tapped unless you have two or more opponents, making them for ED8s, assuming that you're not one versus one, similar to a dual land. Um, now, again, I know it cannot be searched, so it can't be fetched, but it is very, very good to have two color lands that cannot be tapped. So that comes from Baldur's Gate. So number one is Baldur's Gate. I think I love Baldur's Gate beyond everything else. Uh, mainly because there's top end hits and there's you know rares right I like rares this is a top end hit the dragons I still don't have a blue dragon but I have plenty of black dragons uh, displacer kitten battle angel on mythic and uh, this card has gone up a ton since the release of Baldur's Gate free as people tried to make EDH collections right so copper dragon recently hit that on video pretty cool to finally see it hit definitely a card that i've been wanting to hit for some time so baldur's gate love it uh lots of one dollar cards two dollar cards like dispute like uh nature's lore decanter uh you got the lightning bolt you have a lot of really really quality cards in that set now we go to dominaire united now you might say okay so we're going from commons on commons being the majority of the value to just one rare in particular which is shedrid so this set is a little bit messy it's basically shedrid or nothing uh two lilies we hit two lilies and uh this is just kind of nine nine ley line bindings from all the openings uh ley line binding is at this point in time the most second most expensive card over lotus which we still haven't hit the Timeless Lotus, and another card which I'm blanking on right now. Oh, Liliana of the Veil. Vale. So time um, that particular card is actually very, very good, and it sees play in multiple formats. Hence the price. We're going to take another look at this. So Dominaire United, it's Shedrid or Bus. Uh, even the land cycle is not very good. Um, the other free sets that I opening packs from uh, have very good land cycles with cards being over $20 on Card Kingdom. Uh, this one does not add a pain land. Archon Waste, because it's seeing a lot of play right now, is an eight, nine dollar pain land, but at the you know it, at the end of the day it's not a twenty dollar land, right? So Shedrid or Bust, um, it's a really feast or famine set. Uh, you might imagine why do I only have two Crimson Vow? Well uh, Crimson Vow, from a distribution perspective, my distributor puts Crimson Vow in like every mystery pack. So you might think that, oh, he would sell, you know, Baldur's Gate or, or Dominaire United first in a mystery pack. But no, he, he just, Crimson Vow in, in terms of what I just got, I got 500 blisters, I think 250 draft, 250 set. Um, Crimson Vow is essentially every Walmart mystery box has Crimson Vow. I don't know why they did that it, that way, but it was very hard to get from a distributor for a long time. Uh, so we've only opened a little bit of Crimson Vow, and the majority of it has been in mystery boxes. Um, the land are pretty good. This is a $25 land in Card Kingdom. This is only, I think, 10 I mean, it depends on the land, right? But uh, overall, I mean, Crimson Vow, we're going to open some more of it just because I think it's a good set. It's five land that is relatively good. It's got, so this is the most expensive card in Crimson Vow, the land. The 
black white land. Um, now let me let me go back and rewind. It's got wedding invitation. It has some other semi like okay. I wouldn't say they're a great card, but I would say they're okay cards, right? And uh, so I, I like it. Um, it's going to be a new set to add. To you guys know I've been opening these free sets because I like them. I think in terms of having fun and not getting absolutely hosed. Yeah, these four sets are it because they're cheap, they're affordable. You can buy a box for eighty, a uh, box for eighty for uh, Baldur's Gate the other day. Um, now, New Compena is a very interesting set because it does have a land cycle, obviously, which is good. So you are going to hit a lot of land. There's one of the land I didn't hit, and it has this card, which is again a rare that sees a lot of play in in uh, eternal formats is a very very good rare so it reminds me a lot of actually crimson vow that's why we're opening crimson vow there i think wedding invitation is a rare but uh crimson vow is definitely an interesting set because it resembles a lot of this set and it's just kind of fun to open something new uh, Dominator United is Shedrid or Bust, and uh, this one is Baldur's Gate is the most fun to open. I almost never lose money opening Baldur's Gate if you use Card Kingdom Retail as a reference because every one of those gate common gates is like a dollar. Then you got Decanter at like a dollar fifty. You got Nature's Lore. You got um, Dispute Denial something like that. That's like a two to three dollar card. Uh, in blue, you have an uncommon that is like five to six dollars, vials duplication or something like that, and you, you stack up heavy. And obviously, not this. Shedred is much bigger to hit, but nonetheless, you you also have five land. You have a land set to fall back on, and I think that's it. I mean, basically, these land sets are. Will they be reprinted? Yes, one hundred percent. Is it fun to chase right now? Yes. Will it be fun to chase when they're reprinted? No. That's my thoughts about these four sets. We're going to chase them. We're going to have a video every day for like the whole month. Just chasing these cards. Because why not? It's kind of a fun, the fun thing to do. I do enjoy, I still enjoy magic. I know it's, you know, many of you disbelieve this. But I mean, obviously I wouldn't be opening packs. Um, the pack views, they get the, the least amount of views of anything else I publish for obvious reasons, right? But I actually, I still rip packs on camera, off camera, and there was a comment. It's like, oh, I wish these pack videos were returned. I had no idea that anyone actually wanted these videos, so why not, right? Hi, <laughs> guys.